uh, researchers have recorded the largest jump in global average carbon dioxide emissions, leading to a record level of climate warming gases in the atmosphere. This unprecedented rise comes as the Earth has experienced its 11th month in a row of record-breaking temperatures and a string of climate change fueled disasters. It's a new milestone and it helps reinforce the point that CO2 is still rising faster than ever. Overall, in the atmosphere, uh, said Ralph Keeling, uh, it was attaching to itself with, uh, in March, the monthly average concentration of carbon dioxide was 4.7 parts per million higher. And in March, 2023, reaching a record 425.22 PPN, um, in the late 1950s, when scientists first started tracking, uh, global CO2 concentrations, uh, levels were at roughly 315 parts per uh, CO2 makes a record annual jump. Um, um, multiple factors have contributed to the record rise. El Nino, the naturally occurring climate pattern that warms the Eastern tropical Pacific has been ongoing since last year. Uh, the change in ocean temperatures, uh, influences weather around the world, leading to drought in, in many parts of the tropics. Um, the drought and heat that come with an El Nino event means that plants grow less, taking up less CO2 as a result. Increased wildfire activity also releases more CO2 into the atmosphere. Burning fossil fuels is also a major driver. Uh, uh, emissions hit a peak last year, um, rising to 36.8 billion. Uh, um, that's driven CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere higher, um, worsening heat waves, extreme rainfall, wildfires and floods, including amplifying some El Nino impact. The emissions from the tropical forests are superimposed on these, uh, very large emissions from, which is bigger than ever, uh, says Keeling. It's not that El Nino events are unusual. It's the fossil fuel burning is unusual in a historical sense. Um, it's, it's an extreme, um, it's never been higher, but Keeling and his colleagues, uh, very absolutely findings are based on data gathered at Hawaii's Mauna Loa Observatory. Their, um, scripts has continuously monitored CO2 for decades, creating the world's most detailed record of greenhouse gas concentration. Data from air samples pulled from ancient ice have found back CO2 levels uh, hovered around 278 ppm before industrialization. Fuel concentrations of the gas likely haven't been as high as they currently are in at least 3 million years. This year's record increase comes as the world needs to rapidly cut emissions to avoid even worse impacts of climate change.